Hey guys, this is Social Fire, and I'm back with another update for Dokkan Battle. So the All Out Training campaign is starting for JP, so we're gonna go over all of the latest details here. First, there's a new update coming up, so there'll be some navigational improvements and such. Uh, and there'll be like a button to sell all your Hercule statues at once. You'll also be able to reverse a Dokkan Awakened unit from the growth tab now, which will be pretty nice. Um, you'll be able to use labels in Battlefield and swipe left, right, and try to in Baba Shop. The biggest thing here though is it looks like there will also be a new summon animation or probably multiple new summon animations, we're not 100% sure yet, but could this possibly mean that we are finally getting the Kaioken Blue Goku's summon animation? This would be a perfect time to add it, uh, you'll see why in just a moment. So anyways, let's just jump right into this. So login bonuses are starting on the 3rd and will be here through the 21st as well as Hercules daily login bonus returning starting on the 3rd through the 21st. Missions are also starting on the 3rd, which we'll talk about more in just a moment, and those would be available through the 21st. And then the actual Dokkan Fest banner for transforming future Gohan is dropping on the 3rd along with the new Trunks unit. Both of these units look incredible, so personally I'm really excited for this. Then the category banner for the new category, Master and Student, is available starting on the 3rd through the 21st. Great opportunity to pick up units in that category. And then Dragonstone sales will be starting on the 3rd and will be available through the 21st. And maintenance should be over for the price adjustment, so those should be current now. Also, the new Dokkan event for the new future Gohan unit is here starting on the 3rd through the 21st. And then Hope Fight Against Despair is back with the new changes. So this is renewed and completely updated. So starting on the 3rd through the 21st, this event now has the new free-to-play future Android 17 and 18 added in, as well as the bonus drop rates for the future Saga units. And the Dokkan Awakening for SR Future Gohan is here. So very excited to see all of those. Um, there's also missions for the story event, uh, such as complete all stages on normal for one Dragonstone, Complete all stages on Z-Hard for one Dragonstone. Complete the stage three on Z-Hard for one of the 17 tech units. Complete the stage four on Z-Hard for one of the SR Physical Future Gohans. Complete the stage five on Z-Hard for one of the SR Intellect Trunks. Complete stage six on Z-Hard for one of the new 18 units. Dokkan Awaken SR Physical Future Gohan for one gold Hercule statue. Dokkan Awaken the SSR Tech 17 for one gold Hercule statue, and then Dokkan Awaken the new 18 unit for one gold Hercule statue. So those are the missions for the story event there. Next, uh, we have several of these story events returning as well, starting on the third. So those will be back here. I won't go over each of these. We're all familiar with most of those there. And then the Dokkan event for future trunks will be available every day starting on the fourth. Also, the EZA for the father-son Gallic gun units is returning, so that is returning on the 3rd and will be available. These are probably two of my favorite EZA units, personally. And then the Kai banner, so this is returning and it will now be available twice a month, every month, moving forward. So I'm glad to see this. Uh, personally, I know when you're picking up a lot of units, you can run out of Kais pretty quickly, raising SA. This will make it much easier to get those now. There's also a new Twitter campaign starting on the 4th, so be sure to check out Dokkan Official's Twitter page, and I will be sure to cover more information on that later in a separate video. And then Battlefield is renewing starting on the 7th through November 1st. Also, there will be an easy area for the free-to-play intellect future trunks from the story event. Similar to the exchange units, Goku and Gohan, it'll have the restrictive team builds and such, but this unit is getting an easy awakening. And then the legendary campaign for LR Vegito Blue is starting on the 10th. So we have talked about this quite a bit, guys. It is dropping October 10th and will be available through November 5th. Also, the three-day weekend missions are returning. You can get up to 21 Dragonstones from those, so those will be back starting on the 12th through the 14th. So the weekend missions are pretty simple. Basically, complete any stage for one Dragonstone. Complete any stage two times for one Dragonstone. Complete any stage three times for one Dragonstone. Complete any stage four times for one Dozen Kai and two Dragonstones. And then complete any stage 
five times for two Dozenkais and two Dragonstones. Uh, the EZA banner will also be up October 15th through the 31st. As you can see, it will have the Kaioken Blue Goku who is getting an EZA. So very excited to see this. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. Uh, speaking of which, the category banner for Universe 6 will be available the 15th through the 31st. So these may be the weakness for his EZA. So it'll be a great opportunity to pick up some of those units as well. And then Kaioken Blue Goku's EZA will be dropping on the 15th through October 31st. And again, this is perfect timing if they are going to do the new summon animation coming up for Kaioken Blue Goku. We'll see if that actually happens. But personally, I'm really excited to see this unit getting his EZA. Also, the EZA for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is dropping, or returning rather. So, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is EZA will be returning on the 15th and will be here through the 31st. And then the Dokkan events for both units will be available daily starting on the 15th through the 31st. The story events are also returning for Videl and Gohan and Raditz as well starting on the 17th through October 31st. So we'll take a quick look at the missions as well, guys. A uh, special thanks to Jinro for the translations here, but the daily missions are as follows. Complete a stage two times for one silver Hercule statue. Complete a training event once, so anything like Master Roshi's event, Mr. Popo's event, or Karen's event for 25 Gregory medals. Use 25 ACT or stamina for one of each of the different types of training Z swords. And then if you complete all of the daily missions, you will get one Dragonstone. So simple enough to complete each of those every day. Now we have the time limited missions. So these are as follows. So we have a train five times for 50 of each of the different types of awakening medals here. Train seven times for three of the Supreme and Elder Kai awakening medals. Z awaken three characters for 15 large hidden potential orbs. 100 medium hidden potential orbs, and 200 small hidden potential orbs of each type. Z awaken five characters for two dozing kais. And then Dokkan awaken one character for one dragon stone. Next we have unlock 50 hidden potential nodes, and that's for 15 large hidden potential orbs, 200 medium hidden potential orbs, and 450 small hidden potential orbs of each type. Unlock 100 hidden potential nodes for one incredible hourglass. Raise SA one time for 50 of each of these awakening medals here. Raise SA three times for three of the Grand and Awakening or Grand and Elder Kai awakening medals, excuse me. And then raise SA five times for one dragon stone. Next, we have complete a stage without taking damage three times for one platinum turtle shell of each type. Complete a stage in two minutes or less five times for 10 of each of these special keys. Complete a stage without normal attacks or counters three times for 20 of these special keys here. Complete a Dokkan event for one Dozing Kai. Complete a Dokkan event three times for three Dozing Kais. And then if you complete a Dokkan event, Five times you will get one dragon stone. Complete an EZA level once for three dozing kais. Use 300 stamina for 15 large hidden potential orbs, 200 medium hidden potential orbs, and 450 small hidden potential orbs of each type. Then use 500 stamina for one elder kai. And then if you complete 10 missions from the all out training celebration, you will get three dragon stones. And then if you complete all missions, you will get five dragon stones, guys. So that is everything for the missions here and for the upcoming celebration. So like I said, personally, I'm super excited about it coming up. I love the new Transforming Future Gohan. I think it looks incredible. And the new Trunks unit. Um, if you haven't already checked out their super attacks, make sure you watch that as well, because like I said, they look amazing. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone's summons coming up. I'm definitely summoning myself as well. So anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. As always, thanks for watching. And let me know in the comments what you think about this new celebration. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.